Hello everyone, my name is Ripsy and today I'll show you guys how to create the Nukes Cranny from Animal Crossing New Horizons. So first of all, the replay mod uh, had some weird shadow issues, but this is what it looks like. At least you've seen the build in its full glory. Uh, so I'll show you guys how to create it. Let's first crack on with showing you guys the dimensions of this build and also the block palette. And then after we've created it over there and done the tutorial, I'll show you guys the interior on this side as well. So if you're interested in that, uh, just keep on watching to the end of this video. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. So I hope you guys like it as well. So here we go with the dimensions. It is a 9 by 16 wide building. The front's going to be over here. It's a... Uh, a double door at the front uh, and the roof is going to overlap the whole building by one so that's basically above the spruce lining and i did the spruce lining because it looks a little bit uh, closer to the original and then of course uh, the bits over i guess over here are going to be uh, the dark oak wood if i can actually find it so basically the first layout is going to be like this as for the block palette, we're basically just using some strip birch and regular birch woods with also birch stairs for above the doors and I don't really think I've used it anywhere else. And also some of the warped blocks and warped slabs. Uh, and then just a couple of detail blocks are of these you're gonna need a lot of except for that one. And uh, these just a couple of them. So for example iron bars, a bit of black stained glass. Uh, this is light blue windows yeah a uh, couple of acacia doors but you could also use uh, crimson doors or actually any door you like a couple of trap doors just to make it look a bit better uh, some of the banners of course for the cranny over there but also on the sides to kind of resemble the flags uh, just a little bit of a sign some chest and even some wall but there's a couple of more extra details I'll put in, but uh, just to show you guys, you're going to need a couple of different blocks, not that many, but especially those. Let me just start with placing the acacia doors right over here, so we just know where the entrance is going to be. Make sure they open like that. And then basically what you're going to do is get some birch planks or the stripped birch wood. I'm going to go with birch blanks and mix them in after a little bit. And then just basically uh, starting from next to the door so it's easier for you guys to follow on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at both sides. Then go back starting with this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And then just connect these to each other and raise them all up by five blocks. So once you've done that, you can delete those two and get the birch stairs instead. Just like that. Uh, and just punch out those two. So two away from the door, do the same at this side as well. And then on the left of the building, go to the middle, which should be the fifth block. And go up by two and delete those two so that's uh, going to be the windows and you can just fill those in with the light blue stained glass panes here as well and then this one as well so before i move on to the roof i'm going to mix in the stripped birch blocks i'm trying to face them all up so oh, basically just like this and I'll just do some different uh, random patches all the way around. And uh, if you're not really sure on how to do this uh, well, what I try to do is mostly just uh, look at the wall and think, oh, you know, here I can mix one in and over there maybe, and then just over there a little bit. And I just uh, move in small sections of the wall. And there is really no right or wrong uh, when it comes to this. Most of the time uh, I just I'll just do a little random thing like this and if I feel like I make a mistake for example uh, if I just create a big patch over here and I was like hmm, not really sure if that's good most of the time I keep it because that's uh, what really makes it random so uh, your mistakes as Bob Ross would say are just uh, happy little accidents <laughs> and uh, you just have to just roll with it and get one with the build so now you can see it's all mixed uh, so we'll move on to the roof 
So I've placed a full block and a slab over here, but I just like to get the slabs and work with that. And basically what I did is just created a layer on the top half of these blocks. Overlap it by one, and then click on this one, and then just uh, double your slabs up to the middle, which is over here. And just connect them from this side towards the middle as well. And then on both sides, so over here you're going to get a gap as well. Just mix in your blocks again, uh, like so. And uh, just, you know, finish the whole shape of it. So of course, uh, when you're doing the insides, you don't need to full block them. You can just go with some slabs. Uh, that will leave these gaps. But at the end of the video, I'll show you guys how I figured it out on that build over there. Uh, for now, just go with your slabs and place them like this. And uh, if you don't like what I did on the other build on the inside, you can always just uh, go with some full blocks over here and then put some other stuff at the ceiling or just keep it like this if you like that. As you can see, I now did the full roof, but of course we have that little pokey outy thingy with the window in front of it and of course the sign of Nook's Granny. But I like to first of all do this and then uh, after that figure out where the points will be, uh, which is what we do right now. So uh, to the sides, you go one, two, three, four, five, and on the sixth one, uh, get a couple of these out, just uh, six from both sides so over here as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. Uh, clear a couple of them out so we have a little bit of space to work with. Then get your stained black glass, place them on those, and basically just create a layer of, slab, uh, of slabs uh, surrounding it. So I I think I've done it a little bit different on the other build. Uh, this looks pretty good as well, but I'll just take a look what I did over there. Yeah, over the other side, I uh, connected those up as well. So that way, uh, over here, you have a little bit of a sloped, uh, well, kind of a sloped diagonal going up. Uh, and also, if you want to do the sign over here, I uh, just grabbed some sp uh, spruce strap doors, placed them on those six on the inside because I only uh, write cranny. I could do nuke's cranny, but that will make the sign a lot bigger. And I just figured that just doing cranny over here uh, looks a little bit better. Uh, I chose for the spruce uh, signs because first of all, I like this block uh, a lot. And second of all, it just looks like some kind of sign holding up the letters. Uh, you could go with some full blocks over here, but that will make this taller than the uh, highest point of the roof. So I just figured that this might work the best and uh, kind of roll with it. This is pretty much the whole of the outside done, except for the detailing, and that's what we will do right now. To begin with, some iron bars, and uh, I just placed them so I have two blocks in the middle, so two over there, two over there. Hold up, I I think I did something else actually. <laughs> actually, I just uh, kind of discovered that I made this window a bit uh, a bit wider than I did in the first building. Uh, but I'm just going to keep it like this. It might even turn out better than I expected. So uh, we're just going to kind of continue this build and then compare the two afterwards and uh, look at what looks better. Uh, first of all, let's do the detailing at the front of the build. So you have your red wool and also your yellow wool. I just place them like this and then I'll get the uh, red and the yellow banners just like this. Uh, look what block this is. So this is the red one which means I'll start with the yellow on the side. Red, yellow, red and do the same over here as well. And then I place the oak strap doors at the bottom is just uh, an extra little bit of detail to kind of look like it's holding up this little uh, overhang. I then placed a flower pot with a red tulip over here to look the closest as the original as I could. And also a double chest over at this side. I could go with one, but I figured that the double chest uh, looks a bit better over there. And it's also useful as storage if you're using this as some sort of survival build. Then there is a uh, little sign over here. 
So I placed it uh, one block away from the entrance and just kind of rotated it uh, because it is rotated in the original and uh, that's what I like to do. I just kind of want to get close to the original except for the inside. I kind of did it a little bit different but also, well, <laughs> you'll see in the end. There is some sort of bucket, I think, with maybe a mop next to it. Well, I cannot do the mop, but I can do some sort of bucket. And I just placed it like that. And that is basically this section of the front done. And when it comes to detailing, uh, now it's time to do the banners. So for the banners, you will need these ones and of course two ends. And I'll show you guys how to create them using the loom. So I got some white banners, red banners, white thighs and red thighs and I'll start with the C and go down the line and show you guys how to create these letters. So we'll start with the C which is a white banner with red dye. So I'll just do one for now. Uh, it's pretty uh, self-explaining. You get the top one, you get the bottom one and then you get the one on the side to create the C. Then for the R, we will use the red banner. As you can see, uh, I messed it up twice. So this one is a little bit harder. First of all, uh, get rid of the bottom. Yes, then we'll get this one and create it like that. Get the white die again and get rid of the half using that one. Get it back in, get the red die again and create this one. And with the red dye as well, create the top one. And lastly, you just have to get the little stripe in the middle to get the R. So that's two out of five. For the A, it's a little bit more simple. You get the white banner with the red dye, get the left side and the right side. Then you do the top. And lastly, the middle to get the A. For the end, it's also a little bit more easy. Uh, you get the white banner with the red dye, get the side, get the other side, and get the uh, dash in the middle. And there you have the end. Lastly, the white. First of all, the white banner with the red dye, get this one, then get the white dye, and get rid of this side over here. And lastly, get the red die again and get the other dash to create the Y. Then once you have these, and of course I have two of the ends, you can just place them holding shift onto these. And it will look like that. And once you've done that, it actually concludes the whole tutorial. Uh, what I've done on the other side is I've went to the back and just got a little bit of detail in here as well. Uh, I I think I went with two flowers uh, using the bamboo and spruce leaves, then a little bit of an oak bench using some stairs and also some signs, uh, oak signs, and uh, just place a little bit of a grindstone. So I think it probably went something like this. Then get a bit of a bench over here. And just a, a sideways grind to just uh, make it look like there's a little bit of a seizing place. You can look at uh, the flatland over there. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it just it looks a little bit better than leaving it empty. And uh, yeah, just maybe create some uh, a little bit of a forestry surrounding it or just place this inside of your city. Uh, but for now, I'll show you guys the interior I did on that side. So come with me. Once we enter, I try to make it as close as the original, except for the ceiling, because uh, you can't see the ceiling in the game. So I went with a white concrete with light blue concrete floor. A uh, couple of armor stands in the floor over here. I just uh, pushed some uh, prismarine brick slabs over here uh, using some pistons. So There's actually a dragon head and a jack o' lantern but it looks like maybe some sort of uh, toaster and a uh, straw head or something. Just, you really gotta squinch your eyes for that one. A couple of paintings over here. It looks like there's some sort of a, uh, what do you call it? Like a task board over here. It's on the stairs. Uh, I used granite and bricks for the little support because I figured that it's a 
slightly different shade from the acacia or a slightly different shade of the other type of food in Animal Crossing itself. I created a little bit of a lamp design using two end rods on top of each other and just a skeleton skull on the top. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, maybe some sort of uh, jacuzzi or something and I just placed a sign saying salt over here to uh, kind of show that this shop is actually running. Uh, got a couple of colorful banners at the top to look like the flags in the game. I used some of the uh, warped woods and different kind of blocks and some trapdoors at the front so you can look into it. Uh, just a couple of things using item frames went for a spruce uh, thing because I know you can buy the cedar wood I guess it's called in uh, New Horizons. And also some tulips and just a little bit of a planter and uh, well, this is an unlit campfire over there to kind of look like, well, you can use uh, or you can buy some other stuff over here. I don't know, kind of roleplay. Two barrels over there to use as some storage, for example, if you want to use this as a uh, survival base or something. A little bit of a chest on top, some paintings over there, but the flags are going over it, which actually looks kind of remotely close to the original. A little bit of a clock over here. This uh, I just used a end chest as the cash register. Uh, just a wither skeleton skull over here for some extra details. Uh, the plank over here looks a little bit weird because I want to place some stuff up it. So here is a uh, lantern, and then I place this trapdoor on the next block actually. And just a little bit of an anvil on the grindstone. A small plant and a small plant over here as well. And when you come to here, so in the game there is just uh, some sort of black void with a ladder going up because you can't enter that. I figured uh, let's make a little bit of a living area for Tommy and Timmy. So I made a tiny tiny kitchen uh, just making some sort of furnace and this I actually popped out uh, the roof. So I can show you guys I just made a very very small chimney over here. Uh, using some blackstone and polished and the side so that's just a full blackstone block over there and a couple of blackstone uh, walls uh, a small bit of a bunk bed using two crafting tables at the bottom so you can actually craft stuff a uh, small chest over there a little bit of a armor set to look like some clothing or something uh, this is a uh, you know a fridge where you can actually use uh, just store some food over there or something and I figured they need to go to the toilet, so I made a very, very small little outhouse-tiled potty uh, with some toilet paper <laughs> as well. I think it looked uh, pretty cool, pretty nice actually. Uh, but yeah, that's actually all there is to it. I'll let you guys take a final glance at the interior. And uh, with that, it concludes the full tutorial. So I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys uh, will press that like button if you liked it as well of course and uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel for more content like this. I've been Rupsi, thank you for watching, I'll see you later.